We're back at Jim Patterson Stadium, University of Louisville Regional NCAA Baseball Tournament with BG Baseball Coach Danny Schmitz. And Coach, uh, I guess uh, the, you've been to three of these now and everyone gets sweeter, right? Uh, no doubt about it, uh, Todd. Uh, you know, I guess our last one was 99, but I remember it like it's yesterday and uh, I'm really excited for our kids and for our program. As we look ahead, let's look back briefly to the MAC tournament. Did you have a kind of a feeling about this group going in? And if you didn't, when did you really think we might win this thing? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, you know, that uh, first game of the tournament kind of started out like the last game of the regular season where we knew we had to a, had a win that thing, but we fell behind early four to nothing. And, you know, we called the troops together after the fourth inning of game one there at the tournament. And, you know, I just kind of reminded them. I asked them what the score was, you know, at Buff against Buffalo. And they told me and, uh, you know, what did we uh, do from there? And, you know, they said we had to grind out our bats and get the scores from runs. And Ethan McKinney would put zeros up on the board. That's exactly what happened. And eventually we uh, found a way to win that game. 11 innings and then you could just see the confidence grow and it, it kind of carried throughout the remainder of the tournament. Yeah, what you just described, really a gritty team that doesn't give up, and that's going to serve you well, hopefully, here at this regional because you're playing on the host's field here, so you're obviously the underdog. You have to have that grinded-out mentality. Well, there's no doubt about it. I mean, we're going against the Louisville club. That's, I mean, they are solid in all three phases, and we preach that to our guys, the pitching, the defense, and the hitting, and it's just absolutely amazing uh, the numbers that they have put up this year. Um, you know, and actually, Adam Engel is a, <laughs> a young man that has 40 stolen bases. Right. Well, Adam actually has more stolen bases himself than we do as a team you know and that doesn't count the other guys on the on the team so you know obviously us trying to control the running game as much as we can is going to be a, a huge factor for us also louisville seems to be built on speed pitching and defense as you've been able to look at this club uh, defensively are they very very good too oh no doubt about that yeah i mean they're they're fielding nine field they're fielding over 970 and everything and like i said they're uh, team eras <laughs> like a 293 and you know team batting average is just a little bit below 300 and, and like i said then the pressure they put on you with all the stolen bases is, it's going to be a great challenge for us but we are excited about being here and uh, you know i thought today was a good workout and hopefully that'll carry over can you give us a little scouting report on Green, the guy we expect to see tomorrow on the mound for Louisville? I know his ERA is just over two. He's obviously very good, but what's his repertoire? What will we see? Well, we're going to see a fastball that's going to hover around, uh, you know, the upper 80s and touching low 90s. Uh, he has a uh, his breaking pitch is more of a slurve and everything, so it's going to be a sharp sharp break and everything. And he also features a changeup. So we just need to be disciplined. We got to make sure that we stay within our ourselves and not within our limitations. We just uh, try to take what he gives us. Coach, final thoughts as folks look at the backdrop here. They may think this field is grass and dirt. In fact, it isn't. It's uh, very similar to BGSU's football field surface, except it's cut shorter and a little more compact with the rubber pellets. You guys practiced at the Doit before you came. You had a workout today. How true is the bounce on this, and how different is it to not playing on real dirt and grass? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we were fortunate uh, over at Avon Lake there for the conference tournament. Mm -hmm. That was all turf over there, too. So uh, when the, uh, the selection show uh, said that we were going to Louisville, we knew we were going to come play on the, on the field turf again. So I think that's fine with our guys and everything. And you're, you're right, Todd, with having uh, Doit Perry Stadium field turf. Uh, we got out there a couple of times. So hopefully we'll feel comfortable tomorrow. And, uh, you know, there's, there shouldn't be too many bad hops on field turf. So. Well, Coach, your team's on a roll. Hopefully it will continue tomorrow against the host Louisville Cardinals. Thanks for being with us, and good luck. Well, thanks, Todd. And uh, like I said, we're looking forward to it and uh, looking forward to seeing all our fans in the stands tomorrow night.